Hey, how's it going? My name is Dan the Tutor, and last time we looked at limits, kind of just like a basic introduction to limits with graphs. Now we're going to look at a few more practice problems with graphs of limits, but these are going to be some more tough examples. So let's get right into it. Also, if you haven't seen the first video on limits, I recommend you watch that because I gave a basic introduction as to what limits are and how to find them. Okay, so I need to make this actually really long here. That wasn't long enough. We're going to have a long x-axis here. And I'll make some points like that. And then I'm going to give some points A, B, C is at the origin, D, E, and you guessed it, F. And I also want to put the point negative 3 down here. Okay, so here's our graph. It's a huge mess. I know. I apologize. But we need to think of the limits at each of these points. And remember, limits are different from the actual value because you can have limits exist even at points with open circles because the limit just cares about what value it's approaching from both sides. Okay, so now, honestly, I want you to do this one on your own. I want you to tell me what the limit is at each of these points, A, B, C, D, E, and F. And then in this video, I'm just gonna be going through and answering you know, the, those five, six questions. So pause the video, go ahead and do it on your own. And when you're ready to check your answers, go ahead and unpause the video. Okay, here we go. Going into the answers now. We have limit as x approaches a, f of x. So we see that it's approaching positive four from the right. Oh, I messed it up. It's approaching positive four from the left, negative three from the right. So in that case, the limit does not exist. And that's because it's approaching two different values from both sides. Now, point B, limit as x approaches b, f of x. Let's look at point B here. Point B, that's a y value of two there, but the y value itself doesn't matter because it doesn't exist because of the open circle. What's important is that it's approaching positive two though from both sides. And even though there's an open circle, since it's approaching the same value from both sides, the limit does exist and it's equal to two. Good so far. Now we can find the limit as x approaches c, f of x is equal to what? Well, this one's kind of easy. We, have, we see that it has an actual f of x value of four and it's approaching four from both sides. So this is best case scenario, it's already done. It's equal to four, not because of the closed circle, but just because it's approaching the same value from both sides. Let's do D next. So limit as X approaches D, F of X. And we see at point D, we have a vertical asymptote. And remember, vertical asymptotes are approaching negative infinity, and in this case, negative infinity from both sides, which means you could write negative infinity here. And depending on your teacher, they could mark it right or wrong. But if you want to be 100% correct here, you really need to say does not exist. Whenever the limit is approaching positive infinity or negative infinity, we say the limit does not exist. Now let's do point E. Limit as x approaches E, f of x is equal to what? Let's see. From the left, it's approaching value of 1. From the right, also approaching value of 1. And so for that reason, the closed circle doesn't even matter. It just matters that it's approaching 1 from both sides. And last but not least, we have point F, limit as X approaches F, F of X is equal to what? Well, we see we have the open circle, but again, the open circle doesn't matter. We just care that it's approaching that value of negative three from both the left and the right side. And so for that reason, the limit is negative three. And that's it. That's the limit for this problem. Let's do one more just to solidify that we've got it. So here's the graph. It's another long one. Okay, so here's the graph for the next problem. We have points A, B, C, D, E, and F with the corresponding X and Y values. And once again, I want you to find the limits at each of these six points and pause the video, see if you can find them, and then unpause the video to check your work. Okay, here we go. Limit, here, here come the answers. Limit as X approaches A, F of X is equal to, well, from the left, we see we're approaching a value of two, but from the right, we're approaching a value of positive infinity. And even though there's a closed circle here, it doesn't matter because limits just care about what value it's approaching from both sides. The fact that it's approaching a different number from both sides tells us that the limit does not exist for A. Now let's do B. Limit as X approaches B, F of X. So once again, we just care about the left and the right side. From the left, it's approaching one. From the right side, it's approaching negative four. And once again, even though there's a closed circle at Y equals negative two, we don't care about the closed circle. All we care about is the left and the right side. And since it's approaching two different numbers, it once again does not exist. 
Now, limit as x approaches c f of x. So we see we have the closed circle, but the closed circle doesn't matter. We just care that it's approaching negative 4 from the left and negative 4 from the right. We are good. The value is going to be negative 4. Now, how about d? Limit as x approaches d f of x. And that's going to be then positive 3 because it's approaching positive 3 from both the left and the right side. Point E now, limit as x approaches E f of x. Even though there's an open circle, it's just like D, where it's just the value that it's approaching, which is 0 from both sides. And last but not least, point F, limit as x approaches F, f of x is equal to what? Well, we see a closed circle doesn't matter. We're approaching negative 4 from the left and the right, so that's going to be a value of negative 4. And there's our answers for this problem. And so that's, you know, that's pretty much all the different possible scenarios you can see for one of these types of questions where we have a graph and it's asking to find the limit at all these different points. And if you can understand all of these kinds of concepts, then I think limits in general aren't going to be so bad, at least graphically speaking. Evaluating limits is a whole other story, and we're going to have some videos on that coming up next for you. So stay tuned.